My setup is open. Yo, T.O. Why don't you put a game on my setup? Nobody likes your setup. Oh, Daniel. Ditto. I'm just kind of super awful on my setup. Okay. Everybody likes the setup. <laughs> you shut your mouth. I'm gonna cut a super aqua. I've got Small Bird, Dr. Phil, and Kanasuba Aqua on my setup. You, you shut your mouth. You're right. I'm gonna set up. Who's Nick? Putting me in the. Oh, Damn, alright. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh, my turn, my turn, my turn. Ready, ready? Where's the TO? Joel! What? Who's the TO? Okay, you're the TO right now? What's up? Can we play match 44 on that setup? Yeah, Okay, whatever. Yeah, sure, whatever. I've never heard like numbers Joel. before. Joel. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> it caught me off guard. Joel doesn't care. How's it going, Andre? I don't really want to by myself. What do they do? What's up? You're next, by the way. I'm also not in a great mood. Yeah. Well, we got winner semis, Tadio versus Botek King. Botek King actually uh, coming out on top at the moment. He took Tadio's first stop with Down Smash. Um, Joker being a very good character in this game. Let's see if, if BTK can actually do something with this and cause an upset. Tadio being a wolf main, he's gonna get back there. I don't know if I might kill. Yeah, Ooh, it, I feel like with with optimal DI he could have lived that. Looks like he had a decent DI, but I, I don't think that would have killed at 120 honestly. Like it wouldn't even kill me as Inkling at 120. But I don't know if Joker is lighter than that. But Wolf, his uh, strengths, I guess in general as a character, is he has decently fast options. Uh, he has good shield pressure because his, a lot of his aerials are safe on shield, and his blaster does 10 damage, which is is a bit ridiculous. But it's um, eight. it's 10 with freshness. Yeah, it's still a bit it's still, it's still a bit crazy. It's a little bit ridiculous because it's transcendent, so you can't really do anything to it, but like shield right. or jump over it. In terms of weaknesses, though, Wolf <laughs> has um, his recovery. You can kind of gimp that if you're if you go out there. Uh, if you go out there and have the balls for it, Joker being a character, he can get a lot of gems on characters with just down guns. And so this might play in BTK's favor if he can actually get Taddeo off stage and then utilize that. But he's going to eat an up smash, and Taddeo already taking commanding lead of this game already after being down for uh, such a stock. And he's at 69, so he could actually just take this all the way for the meme. Right? You know, I, yeah. I haven't actually seen BTK go off stage with guns or really hardly any edge right. guards. But uh, playing it safe, that's perfectly right. respectable. I can understand not wanting to get cheesed out. Yeah, Wolf's disadvantages are, are the fact that he has a um, predictable recovery, and he has a hard time killing. His, his killing options are usually just straight hitboxes, like back air if he reads you uh, getting up from ledge, or um, you know smash attacks. His smash attacks being rel relatively safe on shield as well. Up air, up smash actually being one of Wolf's best smash attacks, because that's such a huge hitbox that can suck you in. But Joker, He's that kind of character to where if you play him defensively, he, he kind of... A lot of people um, compare Joker to... To, to Sheik. To Sheik, but I actually think Joker plays more reminiscent to Cloud because of the fact that um, he has those fast hitboxes out of shield. He can just kind of play that defensive game. He has Arsene. So He's very quick on the ground and can, in the air. He can play extremely safe, just like Cloud could have in Smash 4 because a lot of his arrows are just safe. We see a lot of... Like run around and shielding on approaches for BTK. Right. BTK really does like to shield grab and a lot of defensive options out of shield. Yeah. But almost every sort of approach when he's getting approached, right. we're gonna see that shield. So it'd be good see to see it. some tomahawks maybe. Yeah, Joker playing. He does play a lot, a lot of reminiscent the cloud. I feel like more than Sheik, especially when he gets you in the air because he just likes to juggle you. On the ground, um, I feel like he plays more like a um, like a sortie. But Tadio takes game one with an up smash. Yeah, you definitely see that sorty kind of shining when you get arson. You start seeing the back airs coming out. Right. That move going incredibly high and starting down low. It's got decent range, but it, it's surprising how much added range and right. knockback you get from arson. But in terms of Joker's kind of play, I know it's um. Oh. You can kind of gimp him with his tether recovery if you have like a lingering hitbox because you can just kind of put it down there and he won't be able to recover. But characters that don't have that, it's actually extremely hard to edge out Joker. Joker can go extremely yeah. low, deceptively low, going 
where you get the additional little hop right. with the up B. Depending so, on the matchup too, it could be easier to edge guard when he has Arson versus if he doesn't. Yeah, Arson only has the invulnerability or intangibility at right. the beginning, so he's he's a character that's not the hardest to two frame, and you yeah. can just go out there, maybe smack him into the the wall. <laughs> He'll probably get a tech, but kind of like Pit, you're pretty helpless on the way up. Right. Some people argue that the tether recovery is better. Like I guess I think, think it, it depends is. on the matchup, but it looks like BTK is going to opt to go to FD. Especially, I think this is uh, not a bad choice for Joker because he gets his combos a bit easier. Even though I don't think Joker really has a bad stage, he benefits off of platforms and flat stages. He benefits off of platforms because he gets to extend his combos, and he benefits off of uh, flat stages because he gets to um, abuse and catch your landing options. Yeah, Joker's very fast on the ground, having right. a really good dash grab, good initial dash, so you see a lot of traps right. where you, you get the juggle started, and he'll just wait, shielding if you're <laughs> leaning into him, and just dash grabbing or dash stacking if you're, if you're fading away. It looks away. like Taddy was just putting on the pressure. He already has him at 100. 24% only a minute into the game. <laughs> we just kind of just forgot to notice that uh, BTK is kind of getting steamrolled right now. But let's see if he can bring his back. All he has to do is get Wolf off stage, honestly, and just get the edge guard. But Tadio, one of his main things as a player, I feel like, is the fact that he moves extraordinarily well. He's been playing the game for so long, and with a character like Wolf, he, he's really good at getting those straight hitboxes. But he just tries to throw out the up smash. Can't up really smash, somehow that. dodging. Right. <laughs> Eha. And if but he gets that two frame down smash, I can actually kill you at like 60 or 70. Yeah. And I would love to see some offstage play from right. from BTK. The gun's Tadio extremely good for him being, but even just running off and marrying. Yeah. Wolf is extremely, uh, what's the word, fragile. Right. Kind of a glass cannon. Yeah. He's got a decent weight, but you know, you touch him off stage once and he's just done. Joker has the ability, but we just see a lot of safe play. He has play. an opportunity to end the uh, closest stock out, too. It's just Tadio plays neutral so well. And um, a lot of times he can just win you just like out neutraling you, and it can just be extremely exhausting to get the kill on him. If BTK actually went off stage, I feel like he could have sealed that out. Yeah, he gets Got the spike. Got the read on the let go of really ledge double jump. Really good for BTK jump. to uh, get this game closer. But he he just took one aerial and a laser, and he went from like 40 to 70 with no rage, mind you. So, and again, I, I have you ever <laughs> seen the Eha get reflected? What what's the angle it looked like? Um. I'm pretty sure. I don't. I think it probably just goes back down at the downwards at the angle. But um. I wonder if it goes back the way it came, or if it goes down or out. Putting on the damage, like he just doesn't have to do much to get you with those high percents. Joker doesn't either, especially when he has Arsene. But if until you get Arsene, it can be a really like uphill battle if if like if you just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Film Especially like you just don't have the kill with power him struggling, to deal with you know, BTK not really having uh, a lot of out of shield options. He has up smash, but that that still won't be Wolf's near out of shield. And oh, he he, I know I noticed Tadio getting clipped by a few of these down smashes. Um, that could be BTK, that could be BTK's ticket to seal the stock out. I feel like with with Arsene, he can definitely seal the stock out with a good read like that with the forward smash. And now he has the lead. Like I said, this this kind of um, FD playing into BTK's advantage because you know Tadio had to land eventually. He just hit him with that force smash, and now he has Tadio in a juggling situation. Why is that? Just we got a nice quick oh, 30 damage yeah, combo, yeah. but if he had played that, that grab, that was a very nice placement. Three of, um, counter, I think. That was a very nice placement of uh, BTK's counter to Rebel's guard, but Tadio only advantage. He tries to counter again. It doesn't really work out for him. If Tadio gets his down smash, he doesn't go for it because he's not in position. But BTK trying to claw his way back on stage. Let's see if he can get Tadio off stage again. He gets hit by another smash attack. Tadio getting hit by all these smash attacks. He's just, he's just not prepared for it, and he gets hit by backer. He's a 91%. BTK has lead. All he needs is a good smash attack. But Arsene is gone, and all. Tadio can kind of um, kind of abuse this and kind of try to claw his way back. So he doesn't have to worry about straight hitboxes knocking him so far off stage because Arsene is so much in the face knockback. But he gets BTK gets up and just almost seals the deal. That's some pretty sus di. He goes for the rubble scar to try to um, bait out you know, something from Tadio. But Tadio going for these up smashes. The next one definitely going to be able to kill. But BTK goes for force smash and he gets Tadio off stage. And he, that was a good recovery from BTK, but he didn't have it in quite the right place. I can, this is quite possible for him, but he gets hit by that. Here, and that's gonna be it yeah, we saw a lot of it. swinging smash attacks where both yeah. characters kind of just want to close it out. But Tadio going to take it 